Now, who says tech toys are only for adults? Welcome to the world of edutainment, where technology meets learning. Today, even our children are becoming more tech savvy because junior consumers want to emulate. Guess who? Their parents. Walk into any toy store and you will notice most products for kids are increasingly looking like junior versions of adult tech toys. Take this, the Click Start, my first computer. What it does is it turns your home TV set into a learning PC for three to six year olds. This means your tyke would have his very own child-friendly wireless keyboard with large colorful keys and a mouse that converts for right or left-handed play. They would even have their own email inbox and they get to learn numbers, phonics and shapes through simple games. Produced by Leapfrog, a designer of technology-based educational products, ClickStart's main function is to orientate kids to the QWERTY keyboard, mouse handling, and screen navigation. Leapfrog has also introduced more first for kids with its text and learn known as the Baby Blackberry. This means children can imitate their parents on PDAs. Preschoolers can exchange pretend text messages with virtual buddy Scout and check his weekly planner to see what his day entails. The device has not reached Asia yet, but it is a perfect buy for parents who want their kids to be learning QWERTY at the same time as the ABC. When it comes to using technology, kids often learn what and how to use gadgets, of course, from their parents. And when a kid has a techie for a parent, is there a chance that she might become a tech kid? Joan Leong is a photographer and a tech reviewer. No surprise, the very first tech toy she bought her two-and-a-half-year-old daughter, Claire, is the Fisher-Price Kid Tough digital camera. She was very excited when she realized it was a camera, and she started taking pictures with it immediately. When she first got the camera, she insisted on sleeping with it um, at night. So, which kind of reminds me a lot like me when I was a kid, um, where when, when we have something that we like very much, we go to bed with it. These are pictures taken by Claire. Surprisingly, good focus pictures for a toddler. It helps that the Fisher-Price camera has a good rubberized grip and is slightly heavy for steady handling. She sees me taking photos and she wants to be like me, as all kids do. Um, they want to be like their parents. So, um, and I guess that's why she's got a rather keen interest in photography. Since little Claire can't quite express herself yet, we ask Mummy to give her review of the Kid Tough camera. First and foremost, I like the fact that it's tough. Um, it is called a tough cam, so it can fall and she can drop it and, um, you know, it won't break. Um, I like that it's got very simple buttons for her to use that she actually understands. She understands that this is the power button um, that you can she can scroll through her pictures here. Um, I don't think she fully understands that this is a delete button. I also like that she has an LCD to look through and um, she can also um, look through the viewfinder like how I do it um, with my camera. And I also like that it's, it's prettily designed for children. But mom has also noticed one downside to this Kid Tough camera. Um, I feel that the image quality can be improved. Um, it is pretty lousy when we look at it full screen. And, um, and of course, you know, it is a kid's camera, so I suppose the technology isn't very advanced. So pictures either come out really overexposed or, or underexposed. But um, like I said, it's just a toy for her and for her to to take photos with. Overall, uh, gadgets that you should be looking for uh, would be gadgets that have um, a very simplistic design uh, and the material must be solid and sturdy. Uh, or it has to be ruggerized uh, and well protected in case your kid decides to dismantle it and place it in his mouth and you know where that goes. Yeah. Now, tech toys are not just all play and no work. That will make uh, your little junior a very dull boy. So coming up, we'll have a look at technology that's making learning so much more fun. So to kick things off, let's have a look at how technology is already making waves in the world of education. 
Technology giant IBM and the world's leading open source software solutions provider Red Hat has teamed up with Singapore's Republic Polytechnic. This collaboration launches ASEAN's first ever Linux training for students supported by IBM's Academic Initiative and Red Hat Academy. For this academic initiative, IBM contributes its System Z mainframe server and Red Hat, its enterprise Linux operating system. This collaboration is worth a whopping 5.45 million Singapore dollars, that is 3.6 million US dollars. IT education for youth uh, should be supported widely by technology companies because we need to ensure that uh, the economy is well geared with uh, the right skill sets of, uh, of people when they enter the workforce. Over the next three years, up to 150 students will benefit from training at the new Red Hat Training Center at Republic Polytechnic. They will graduate with what is known as the crown jewel of Linux certifications as Red Hat Certified Engineers. seen this side of Taiwan, but what about this side? From lush natural landscapes to traditional folk customs and mouth-watering local cuisine, come experience the lesser-known facet of this beautiful and diverse island. Welcome to Taiwan, a brand new series premiering 5th April on Channel News Asia. This series is brought to you by Taiwan Visitor Association. Get your competitive spirits going with Channel 5's new local sports program. Featuring our upcoming young sports talents. This is the show for you. Root to your school teams with exclusive coverage on all 26 sports in the National School Championships. It's all about the glory of winning and the agony of defeat. Support local sports in the school nationals. Tonight at 7.30 p.m. on 5. She was diagnosed with leukemia in April 2008. In a matter of few days, sometimes the leukemia cells can reach very dangerous levels where they can practically kill a patient within days to weeks. But she was not suitable for a bone marrow transplant. How did the doctors save her life? A journey of hope. Tonight at 9.30. A Journey of Hope is brought to you by Parkway Cancer Centre and the following partners. Talk to me. Welcome back to the season finale of That's IT. Now, some of us older types out there could probably still remember those days back in school when books were the only medium of instruction. But today, IT has changed the face of education. And, well, we can no longer say we're too cool for school. Technology is clearly changing the way we learn to the extent that even the story of Red Riding Hood is no longer what it used to be. Three-year-old Jia Yu can now decide how she wants to hear the story of Little Red Riding Hood by moving these cubes. This award-winning game combines physical and virtual reality to turn celebrated fairy tales into 3D interactive media by involving kids like Jia Yu in gameplay and question and answer activities. We found out that for very little kids, when they are learning 3D concepts, it's, there are a lot of confusings and misunderstandings going on. And we think that there is a need for such a tool which can encourage kids to uh, build their imagination as well as their motor skills and to visualize the things in three-dimensional, just like what they are perceiving in the physical life. What this game does is it uses a camera as a sensor to detect the movement of the cubes. And this allows the child to manipulate and advance a story he or she is watching. So in this way, compared to the traditional media like DVD and VCDs, where the kids can only just sitting uh, passively like this, watching the same video again and again, now they are able to just physically and tangibly just manipulate the story and to change different ending if they want. The technology behind WizCubes has now also been utilized to educate kids on 3D concepts that are usually hard to explain on paper, such as the human body and even global warming. 
we believe that we are going to change the, the way how the world learns in the coming generations. And this impact could be significant, could be lifetime. Possibly the most draining part of being a parent is having to infuse your kids in after-school programs. Well, with these high-tech forms of learning, your kids might just be clamoring to go to school. This education center focuses on the development of applied IT curriculum for children between the ages of 4 and 12 and runs programs from video game making and robotics to animation and digital art. But playing with robots and video games doesn't sound too far from what occurs on the living room floor on Saturday morning. It actually involves quite a lot of uh, learning how to do planning, um, to think about logical thinking, um, uh, thinking about how to sequence events. So on top of just learning software skills, they really are learning quite a lot of cognitive-based skills. The video, for example, was produced by a seven-year-old boy. This robot built by a five-year-old after two years in the workshop. But not every kid has a luxury of being equipped with technology. Millions of children around the world still have no access to the internet. This is where the One Laptop Per Child initiative comes in, an initiative aimed at reducing the digital divide between the haves and the have-nots developed specifically for poor children in developing countries the OLPC initiative aims to supply one laptop just like this to as many children as possible for free how is this possible well every time you buy one of these laptops for three hundred ninety eight dollars you are actually paying for two and the second one is shipped off to an underprivileged child in the developing world Developed by some of the best brains in the world, the XO laptop uses very little power. It has a one gigabyte solid state disk, a USB interface, a camera, microphone, and even mesh wireless capabilities. And by June 2008, more than one and a half million such laptops have been distributed. They have, uh, you can create simple music, they can read e-books, um, they have uh, Wikipedia loaded so they can look up on basic stuff like, for example, life sciences, basic um, maths like algebra, technology is an enabler. So to students, I hope that the, such laptops uh, drive their learning, curiosity and their freedom to explore um, new information and construct new information into knowledge. Coming up after the break, we'll show you the coolest websites just for your kids. And of course, the cutest gadget wars yet here on That's IT. Of course, the show won't be complete without hearing from an IT bigwig and his kids' pick on CEO's, well, not quite the CEO, but the CEO's kids' pick. A father of three, there's probably nobody else more in tune with gadgets that spans all age ranges than Howie Lau, the executive director of Lenovo ASEAN. So much so that among his favorite gadgets is one we often associate with people much younger than him. The Xbox makes sense for me because the, the type of games that uh, the Xbox has is just a, a lot more appealing to me. So it's not really true that only young people play computer games. So here's living proof that a 40-year-old plays games as well. When it comes to his children, however, Howie and his wife, Teresa, put a lot more thought into what they pick and choose. If this particular game gives them not just entertainment, but something to learn about, I think it's useful. Um, take, for example, this little game on the DS called Nintendo Dogs. Um, you know, we, we decided not to give them a real dog yet until they figure out how to keep the digital dog uh, well-fed and well-behaved. So this little game is about them having digital dogs, uh, taking care of them, playing with them, uh, feeding them. Um, and when they're ready, we'll get them a real dog. This is Channel News Asia.
This is Channel News Asia. 你啊，就会洗衣，对墙壁打乒乓，你是不会知道喜欢上一个人的感觉的、啊。你喜欢我吗？为什么把我的衣服丢掉？我没有，你是不是看我不顺眼？我喜欢你，不需要任何理由的喜欢你，我一定可以打动你的心。On Gadget Wars are three very active and well, very intelligent kids sitting right beside me is Marsha and Marsha's friend. What's the name of your friend, Marsha? Mr. Monkey. Marsha is eight years old, and Marsha's sister Sarah is uh, six years old, and of course Jacob, who is ten years old. Okay. Now they are playing with two different types of D-Tech computers. This one is the D-Tech uh, Knowledge, which is good for six years old and uh, over. This has programs both running in English and in French, math, sciences, languages, and if you take a look, it actually looks like a legitimate adult laptop, something that you and I would use. And then there is the VTech Nitro Junior, which is a lot more colorful. Uh, this one is for four years old and above. This one comes with the usual educational programs in English with maths and sciences and easy to pull cartridges uh, if you have to put it in and, and play a game. Okay, so uh, let's start with you, Jacob. How do you find this? It's pretty good. It's the VTech Knowledge Notebook. I'm gonna in, um, insert a cartridge. Um, this game is called Cyber Pet. Um, it's where you train your uh, this pet, uh, this pet here, to become strong, artistic, or let's say fat. Um, so I'll, uh, firstly I'll make him muscly. Oh, that is more muscly. Okay, now here he is. Looks like, a, it looks a bit like a gorilla. <laughs> but, um, so now I'll make him fat. Transform into this fat, lazy guy. Uh, so then you you can make him uh, um, become artistic or musical, and then um, he'll turn into this. So he'll turn into this guy. Um, this uh, like let's say nerd who likes to play music. Okay, Jacob. What are you playing with now? Um, I'm playing this game where you have to try and find the shape, the missing shape. So you gotta keep, you gotta find it with the selection of shapes here. Mm -hmm. So even if it's upside down, you can select the shape that looks most most like it. Mm -hmm. So you select this one, and it will like. You did it. Hey, Jacob. Keep playing. I'm gonna check on your friend, Marsha. Okay, what are we playing with, Marsha? Well, this is a very interesting game. It has a lot of things you can play. Next. The question says 3 plus 1. I say it goes to 4. Marsha, what, uh, what do you like about this Nitro Junior? Um, I like this because there are many games you can change. For example, you can play English games, math games, science and nature, social studies, music studio, art album, game time, and the world, world discovery. So, which one would be your favorite? I would think uh, art album is my favorite. That's the one where you can change and make faces, right? Yes. 
And it's time for judgment time. And who better to judge but the kids themselves? You made this earlier. Green means yes, and red means no. Okay, each take one, Jacob. That's for you. For you, Marcia. And that's for you, Sarah. Okay, are we ready? Yes, we're ready. Okay, so who liked the VTech Junior? Okay, let's see. Now, no for Jacob. Yes for Sarah. No. Marsha, okay, why do you like this one? Because it has a lot of hardship and I like it because you can make all the people and learn new stuff. That's why I like the, the arts, math, and the, the languages. languages. Okay, well, this one is for four and up, and of course, Sarah is six years old. I got that right. Okay, and now for the VTech Knowledge Notebook. Okay, good. Kids, who liked this one and who did Okay, it looks like everyone's giving this one a green. Jacob, why did you like this one? Oh, uh, because it's got uh, good games, better games than this one. Okay. And it looks more modern. So. It looks more modern. Of course, Jacob is 10 years old. Why did you like this one? I like this one because you don't need to remove the cartridge and put it back, remove it and put it back. You can just press the button. It's all here. Yes. Okay. Why did you like this one? Aren't you a bit too old to play with uh, this one? I put it there. Oh, you put no. Okay, now she's changing her vote to no. And that is this week's Gadget Wars. Thank you very much, kids. Okay. Bye. Say bye to the camera. Bye. <laughs> when it comes to IT for kids, the internet has sure fun ways for your kids to have fun for free. So we search the World Wide Web to look for the best websites just for your children. And here's what we found. First up, it is not a website, but a web browser made specially for kids. The Firefly is created by Children's Technology Workshop. Why is it good? Well, because its interface is simple and it allows for safe browsing. Every page a child visits has to be approved by an adult. For that budding spaceman of yours, the NASA Kids Club website is the best way to start trying out challenging space-related games. Kids can choose five different skill levels, each with its own challenging range of games. Learn how to assemble a rocket or follow Buzz Lightyear on missions in orbit. Well, these websites are so much fun, I can't even tear myself away from them. Last but not least is the creative iFlashbook, a site that uses interactive voice learning and flash animation to teach Mandarin. Learning Mandarin will be a breeze with this site. It has an all-in-one read-along storybook, English translator and e-dictionary. This subscription site teaches pronunciation and stroke-by-stroke -stroke writing. We finally come to the end of the 10th season of That's IT. Hope you enjoyed the series as much as we enjoyed bringing it to you. Of course, time flies when we're all having fun. We'll be back in just a few months to bring you better gadgets, gizmos, and the latest news from the world of technology. So what's your name? I'm Kiran. I'm Arshia. I'm Paul Wen. And I'm Timothy Go. That's, That's it. it. Why can I go home? You can go now. Everyone Thank can you. go now. Bye. Okay. Bye. 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 Talk to me, talk to me. If you feel the need or when you need the feeling, talk to me. If you feel the need or when you need the feeling, talk to me. This April, get ready to expand your mind and horizon. Ingenious ideas, cutting edge designs. Find out what inspired these one of a kind creations on Design A to Z. It's a food paradise, shopping haven, and cultural site all rolled into one. Explore this amazing island on Welcome to Taiwan. Get up close with some of Asia's influential people as they talk about their lives and work on a brand new season of Conversation With. To invest or to not invest in these trying times, let the experts break it down for you in an all-new season of When the Bears Are Out. From fashion to communities,
going green may just be the new lag. Find out what the hype is all about on It's Organic. Don't miss them this April on Channel News Asia. She's a wife, a mother, and an environmentalist. She runs her own business and strives to inspire cancer survivors. She teaches by day and volunteers at an orphanage by night. Ordinary women doing extraordinary things. Know a woman like that? From now until April 15th, log on to channelnewsasia.com slash Singapore Woman to find out how you can nominate the woman of your choice for the Singapore Woman Award 2009. Join us as we celebrate the ordinary woman who inspires. The Singapore Woman Award 2009 is brought to you by Robinsons, Jean Yip, and presented by Channel News Asia. of all the challenges and obstacles that lie ahead in today's information maze. One news channel provides the barriers to comprehensive news coverage with a unique perspective. Channel News Asia, the only news channel providing Asian perspectives. Malaysia's ruling party AMNO undergoes a leadership revamped as it aims to win back public support. U.S. President Barack Obama says there's some...